Hello and welcome to Is It Truly Gluten Free? At this point I'm going to test this product, Great Value Cream of Chicken Condensed Soup. Obviously this is labeled gluten free. Um, and it also has the Beyond Celiac uh, certification here, which means that it should be gluten free below 20 parts per million. So we'll go ahead and break it open here. So I'm going to attempt to just kind of stir this up a little bit instead of putting it in the blender. I want to I want to make sure it gets mixed well. But honestly, there are some of these products that I question whether they actually need to be blended. So I'm just going to try to stir this around. Okay, I think that's probably mixed adequately. Now. I'm just going to pour this into a plastic bag here. All right, that will work. We'll see what the tests show. So I've got the Great Value Gluten-Free Cream of Chicken Condensed Soup ready to begin the process of testing. So the first step is we need to measure out one gram of the soup into this test tube right here. So I've got this test tube labeled GVCOC, Great Valley Cream of Chicken. So I'm going to put this empty tube on the scale here. Now we'll put one gram of the soup into it. Okay, there's one gram. I'm going to leave it right there. Now the next step is we need to take some extraction solution, which we have here, and we need to put 10 milliliters of the extraction solution into this vial. So I've got this pipette here set to 10 milliliters. Throw the cap on. And now we need to vortex this for about a minute or so. All right, now we're ready for the incubation phase where basically we're going to put these vials, these samples, into a thermostatic water bath. Now I am putting multiple samples in just because that's more efficient. Um, I'm going to do six at a time. So these need to incubate in this, uh, in this hot water bath for about 40 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius. I'm going to come back periodically and uh, vortex all of the samples. And, uh, and then we'll proceed from there. Now it's time to vortex for the first time the Great Valley Cream, or Great Value Cream of Chicken Soup sample. All right, our second round of vortexing. Third and last round of vortexing. Okay, now it's time to centrifuge the samples. We just finished with the incubation. And uh, now let me open the centrifuge here. So again, as with the incubation, I'm going to be centrifuging multiple samples at the same time, just for efficiency's sake. So I have six spots in my centrifuge. I have six samples here. So I am going to centrifuge these now. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes at uh, 2,500 Gs. Okay, so the centrifuge is finished. Now at this point we need to transfer the clarified liquid from the sample vial into this empty vial. Now you notice that the solids have been pushed to the bottom of this tube by the centrifuge. So this stuff on top here, this liquid, that's what we really care about. So I'm just going to take that, pour it into this empty tube here. Now at this point, we just need to let the sample uh, stand for a little while to bring it to room temperature. Now we're ready to perform the dilution and the analysis on great value cream of chicken condensed soup. So I've got my extracted food sample here. Got some dilution solution here. 
Now we're going to be analyzing this at a limit of detection of three parts per million. Now what that means is for, for three parts per million we've got to use a 1 to 25 extracted food sample to dilution solution ratio. So we're going to start with the dilution solution and basically we're going to take 960 microliters of the dilution solution and mix it with 40 microliters of the extracted food sample. We're going to do it in this empty vial right here. So I've got my pipette set to 960 microliters. Okay, so there's our dilution. Now we've got to combine that with 40 microliters of the food sample. So I've got to run this pipette down to 40. Give this one last shake. Make sure it's all mixed well. So 40 microliters out of this vial. So we'll just kind of mix that up, make sure the dilution solution mixes well with the food sample. Okay, so we have our dilution ready. Now what we're gonna do is we need to put 100 microliters of the diluted sample into this well right here, second from the end. You'll notice all these are covered over with tape. Those have been used. So that's a total of 100 microliters into that well. And now we just need to introduce the test strip. So we'll drop that in that well. Start the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, our 10 minutes is up. Let's see what our result is. And I do not see any red or pink on that test stick. So what that means is great value cream of chicken condensed soup is gluten free at a limit of detection of three parts per million. In other words, if this product has any gluten in it at all, it's lower than three parts per million. So this concludes this test on the Great Value Cream of Chicken Condensed Soup using Gluten Talk Sticks Plus at a limit of detection of three parts per million. Uh, at some future date, we'll go ahead and test this product again. And in the meantime, we've got a few more tests on the way. So stick around for those and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to stay updated on new gluten test videos as they're posted, don't forget to subscribe. You can also visit us on the web at isittrulyglutenfree.com or follow us on social media at isittrulyglutenfree. Thanks again and have a great day.